This is for the win from 29 from the right hash. Kuz kick is good. Here is Durant for the win. I don't think that should be said. <laughs> I don't think that should be said. Hilarious. Uh, all right, you got funny. that out. All right. I'm cutting all that out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to For The Win Vodcast, the destination for entertaining sports coverage, analysis, and debate. And we got a really good one for you guys today, man. Brady versus Jordan. Who is the GOAT across sports, man? Yeah, so last week, Tom Brady called it quits and retired from the NFL after 22 years. It's crazy. It's indisputable whether or not he's the GOAT of the NFL. Um, But what about of all time? All right. So on the other end, we have Michael Jordan, six-time NBA champion, indisputed GOAT of basketball, man. So is Brady the greatest team sport athlete of all time, or is it Michael Jordan? Corey is here to make the case for Jordan. We got Wilson for Brady. Hey, let's go, man. What y'all think? Hey, Michael Jeffrey Jordan is the GOAT of all GOATs, okay? <laughs> like, you know, we could talk about the 6-0 and in the finals. We could talk about the six MVPs, the regular season MVPs, the Austin. We could talk about all those great accolades, right? But for me, it comes down to two things. Number one, the talent, Right. Michael Jeffrey Jordan has that that raw athletic talent. You know, coming out of college, right? Everybody wanted Jordan, right? He was high on the on the draft board compared to Brady, right? J- Brady was drafted late, you know, late in the rounds. Other quarterbacks went above Sixth him. Round, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you know, just off of just pure talent, Jordan had had that on lock, right? And you know we can we can even talk about you know the the Blazers are still like butt hurt about not drafting him right <laughs> you know the whole the whole phrase from uh, uh, Coach Bobby Knight right uh, draft draft they needed the Blazers needed a center right mm-hmm. and they they missed out on the center so they was like hey Bobby Knight was like look draft Jordan let him play center like that's how that's how <laughs> bad it was right mm-hmm. and they and they they passed on Jordan and Sam they Bowie. they forever they you're right, right they have forever like regretted that situation um so just off of talent j- talent wise Jordan definitely takes the cake on that and then my you know my second uh point is I mean when we talk about the greatest games right we're talking about Super Bowl and we're talking about the NBA finals when it comes to Jordan and the NBA finals he is the sole reason why they won those championships, right? And for Tom Brady and the and the Patriots, <laughs> well, well, let, 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 let me let me talk it out. Let me talk it out, right? So for for Brady and, and the Patriots, and you know, including the Bucks championship, can we can we say that every single championship was solely because of Tom Brady, right? And the reason I say that, if we bring up that very first Super Bowl, right, uh, versus the the Rams, right? The greatest show on turf. That was a defensive battle. The defense, in my opinion, won that game. They held the the, the greatest show on turf to what seventeen points. Come on now, <laughs> Brady didn't even ha- didn't even have that great of a game. He threw for like one hundred and sixty five yards and one touchdown. The defense scored a touchdown, and you know he's, he's he he drove the ball down the field in in the end. And Hall of Famer Adam Vinatieri walked it off. Right, so. And <laughs> right, you see how he did that. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> and you know, if you look at Jordan's Jordan's stat, first of all, he never went to a game seven, obviously. That's that's well documented. But you know, his averages, right? 31, 35, 41, 27, 32, and 33. He never averaged anything less than 25 points. That I th- I think that is an amazing feat. So, like I said. Just off of uh, off of big time moments on the biggest stage, I don't think Brady was just the sole reason why they won games every single championship. I think he benefited from having great defenses um, in his first Super Bowl, right? 
And, you know, talent-wise, it's Jordan. So you can go ahead and make your case about, <laughs> about Brady. Is man. it my turn? <laughs> All right. So since we're using uh, full names, Thomas Edward <laughs> Patrick, Patrick. Brady. Brady. I hate that all guy. All right, so let's talk about why Tom Brady is the GOAT of all GOATs. Um, before I go into that, I do want to say that a case could be made for Wayne Gretzky when you talk about team sports. It can be made for Wayne Gretzky, but in my opinion, I don't think he has enough winning to back, um, you know, his case. But his statistically, Wayne Brady, not Wayne Brady, Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> not Wayne Brady. Wayne Gretzky is up there. All right, so let's talk about why Tom Brady is the GOAT of all GOATs. When I think about greatest of all time, when I think about the word great, I think about your ability, I think about your accomplishments, and I think about um, just overall accolades and impact on the game. Tom Brady fared better against his competition than Michael Jordan did in terms of his peers. So... Let's drop some numbers since we're dropping numbers. <laughs> Tom Brady is first all time in pass yards, pass touchdowns, playoff yards, and playoff touchdowns. Tom Brady has more Super Bowl rings than any other quarterback has Super Bowl appearances. He has seven. Uh, John Elway has five. Tom Brady has more Super Bowl wins than any other team in NFL history. So that'd be the equivalent of Michael Jordan having more rings than the Celtics and the Lakers. Tom Brady has more conference championship appearances than 28 teams in the league. Um, he has more than twice as many playoff wins than any other quarterback all time. Let's take a second to think about what I just said. He has more than twice as many playoff wins than other, any other quarterback all time. Uh, career playoff touchdowns, he has 86. Next best is 45. Um, he has more passing yards in his career than the Jaguars, Panthers, and Ravens. Tom Brady has more than 150 touchdowns in his 40s alone. If you split Tom Brady's career in half, you have two Hall of Fame quarterback careers in one. The longevity matters. The longevity matters. Tom Brady dominated an entire league for 20 years versus Jordan, Jordan had a short, uh, a short stint of dominance, but it isn't, you know, it isn't long term. Michael Jordan did play for the Washington Wizards. That is a part of his career. If you think about the end of Jordan's career, you think about the end of Brady's career, they don't compare. Now, in Brady's first Super Bowl, yeah, I wouldn't say he was the man, but he was also in the Super Bowl, his first full season in the NFL. Brady was able to win in two uh, separate franchises, something that Michael Jordan never did. We saw Michael Jordan win with Phil Jackson and with Scottie Pippen. We never saw what he can do outside of that. He also took a break in the middle of his career uh, for whatever reason. They forced him out. Uh, <laughs> we, we, could, we could talk about it. So Jordan doesn't have the longevity. Also, in my opinion, Jordan is not the undisputed goat of his game anymore. Like right now well, – and hear me out. Right now, there's no one on the coattails of Brady. Like, it's not even close. Again, he's got seven rings. Bradshaw and Montana have four. Uh, no one else is. He has 10 Super Bowl appearances. Once you get to the point to where you have more Super Bowl wins than an entire fran than all other franchises, you've reached a level that is unprecedented. There's, there's no one else can match that. Um yeah, like I said, Jordan's not the undisputed GOAT of his of his, of his sport. If you consider by the time LeBron James ends his career, he's going to have 40,000 points, 10,000 plus rebounds, 10,000 plus assists, while Jordan's at 32, 6, and 5. Yeah, Jordan will have six rings and, and LeBron won't. Um, but still, the argument can be had. Right now, who's the second greatest quarterback of all time? Joe Montana? Johnny Unitas, you know, there's, it has a clear cut. So when I think about GOATs, I think about how you fare against your competition. And right now, there's no one comparable to Tom Brady, which is why he's the greatest team sport athlete of all time. <laughs> so to your longevity point, mm -hmm. I think it's going to benefit Brady because of the position that he plays, mm -hmm. right? 
in football, the quarterback is heavily protected, right? The rules have been changed to protect the quarterback. So he's going to have a longer um, a longer career than, you know, a, a basketball player, right? Especially one that doesn't really take care of his body. Um, you know, I understand the TV 12 and all the, mm -hmm. you know, the the bands and all that good, good type of stuff. But the longevity is going to benefit Brady because of the position that he plays. Kareem played 20 seasons. You know, LeBron's <laughs> on year 19, Kobe played 20 <laughs> seasons. So Michael Jordan's choice to leave the game twice is – his own fault, in my opinion. Well, I mean, for me, when I when I think of the greatest, I think of a of the peak, right? Mm -hmm. Like you going up a mountain, and I, once I get to the greatest part of the mountain, mm -hmm. that is the peak. I think Jordan had the greater peak than Brady. I think Brady had a longer sustained level of of excellence and success. Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about just dominance of a sport. Um, to go a three P, I think that is a greater very peak mm -hmm. and very you know difficult to attain compared to you know Brady um, uh, winning Super Bowls, but over a longer period of time um, to achieve. Okay, so that to that I say, now if we are looking at the history of the sport, does Michael Jordan have the greatest peak in NBA history? I think Will Chamberlain does. Does Michael Jordan have the most rings? No. Does he have the most points? No. He probably has – he has a collective argument that can be made, but with Brady, he checks every box off rip, which makes him undisputed. Like I said, pass yards, pass touchdowns, playoff wins, Super Bowl MVPs, um, not to mention the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history, in playoff about history. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> Um, I don't think Jordan checks that off. When Jordan did retire, that first season, the Bulls won 55 games. So we could talk about stuff maybe, you know, um, was Brady the sole reason? You know, without Jordan, they went to the second round of the playoffs and won 55 games. I mean, you know, they didn't win a ring, but. And I get it. it like, Brady has has – gotten the teams to a Super Bowl, mm -hmm. put them in position to win Super Bowls. But I don't think like when you when we talk about, like I said, the greatest moment, the greatest uh um stage mm -hmm. in each sport, the Super Bowl, I think there are a little flaws in in, in Brady's uh appearances. Mm -hmm. You know, especially with the losses that he's had, um and even a, a couple of the wins. You know, a couple years ago, uh in 2019 when they played the Rams again, mm -hmm. right? That wasn't the greatest. It wasn't the greatest game. It, it wasn't it the was. greatest game to even nah. watch. You know, mm -hmm. like what was it, like thirteen to ten, thirteen or to three, three or something like they that. Didn't yeah, score like, yeah. So those are those are times where Brady wasn't the best. You know, it it didn't it didn't show Brady being a a goat. He had moments in the game, but like a sustained level of success, right? Like I I read off the numbers, like. To average those type of numbers in the NBA Finals mm -hmm. and never get to a Game 7. Now, I know you get the benefit of, like, losing games because it's mm -hmm. not like a one-and-done like the football. Like, I was going to get in, to that. In the NFL. <laughs> but, I mean, that's just – we have to take it for face value. That's, that's the nature of the sport. I want to put to rest this narrative. Michael Jordan never went to a Game 7 in the Finals. It's true. I don't think it matters that much. Why? One, I don't think it's something that people even talked about until LeBron went to a game seven and one. I feel like, you know, people started saying that to talk down LeBron. Discredit LeBron. Discredit LeBron. Mm -hmm. Like, I never heard people say, oh, I never went. Like, the Pacers took the Bulls seven. The Knicks took them seven. So the fact that it didn't happen in the finals, me, is impressive, but it happened in the Eastern Conference Finals. I mean, I just think. You know, the West competition probably wasn't as strong as the East. The East was stronger then, so people still took Michael Jordan 7. Um, let's talk about Brady, though. We, 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 can, we can look at yards, and we can look at interceptions. Tom Brady has 14 game-winning drives in the postseason in his career. Six of them were in the Super Bowl. So even if he had a tough game, well, he had a really tough game against the Falcons. We remember that first half. He always found a way to get his team to victory. And the few times that he didn't, 
it wasn't his fault. He played well enough to beat the Giants mm-hmm. both games. Um, I think he played well enough to beat the Eagles, but Belichick decided to sit his best defensive player. So Tom Brady could have 10. <laughs> you know, he could easily have 10. Now, he could easily have less if yeah, you know, yeah. Vinatieri misses kicks, but still, he's the one that drove the team down to those game-winning drives. And again, when you compare him to his uh, to his peers at his position, no one is close. No one is close. That's why, to me, he's the goat of all goats. I think it's harder to win a Super Bowl than it is to win an NBA championship. Because in the NBA, with the seven-game series, I think more times than not, the better, better team, team wins. Yeah. And in football, it's the hotter team. The yeah. hotter team. The yeah. hotter team or the more prepared team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. I, got I mean, I, 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 we're, we're splitting hairs, right? I mean, these are two... In my opinion, undisputed ghosts of their sport. I mean, I know you don't really have Jordan, but I mean, we're we're really well. No, just yeah, Jordan's go- Jordan's my. Let me let me look at the camera. Jordan <laughs> is my goat. Okay, I'm just saying a conversation can be can be had. had. Okay, and all the Jordan heads are gonna go crazy. Yeah, watching this. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have I have some more questions. Okay. okay, who has had the bigger impact on their sport? So Jordan for the NBA, Tom for the NFL. Who has the, had the biggest impact on their sport? I'm still say Jordan. <laughs> um, and I think it goes on and off the court. I mean, mm-hmm. just if you take into uh effect the the Jordan brand, mm-hmm. um, you know, the the different athletes that are signed under the Jordan brand, um, the the shoe. I mean, the shoe's never gonna go out of style. They keep making different versions of the same shoe, right? And people still and people still <laughs> buy them. violent over <laughs> right. I mean, you got people standing in lines. Right. Um, so I think the Jordan brand is um is had the most impact. The answer is Jordan. Yeah, the answer is Jordan. He's he's had, he's had the bigger impact, but you know the NBA also markets their players on a much higher yeah. level than the NFL does. The NFL is all about the shield. Uh, the NBA is about players. So I would say Jordan has had the bigger impact on his game. Yes, I would say yeah. Jordan. I mean, even if you think about like the way. Cats are shooting and leaving their hand up, or you know, yeah, like the tongue yeah, the out their mouth, like the swag yeah. that Jordan yeah. had. Like, mm-hmm. so I mean, got to be Jordan. Yeah. Right? Jordan has had a bigger cultural impact. Yeah. Yes, like across cultures, yeah. like across, across sports, across, yeah. across every yeah. sport, across. You got yeah. fashion. And that's not even you something got, you can argue. You, yeah. you know, like there's nothing. There's nothing you can argue about that one. Mm-hmm. What is more impressive? How Brady got his seven, or how Jordan got his six? You guys talked about it a little bit earlier, but. Elaborate on that. Like, which one is more impressive? Brady. How Brady got his seven. This is why. I understand Jordan had, you know, two three-peats. There was a break in between. We got to put it into context a little bit. And I don't want to sound like I'm discrediting Michael Jordan because, again, a three-peat is a three-peat. But when Jordan started winning, that's when the greats of the 80s started retiring. That's when Isaiah was out. That's when Magic was out. That's when Bird was out. And then the NBA started expanding. So, like, from 88 to, like, 94, the NBA added, I want to say, like, five or six teams. So you had had a lot of expansion franchises. Like, Steve Kerr talked about this. He said one of the things that motivated Jordan to come back was the fact that the league was a little watered down. The league was watered down. There's a lot of expansion franchises. He figured, "Let let me steal some more rings. The year the Bulls won 72 games. And I don't remember the exact number, but there was a great percentage of the uh, a larger percentage than usual of the the league that w- uh, won thirty games or less. So they were feasting on a lot of fran- franchises that were expansion. You had Miami, you had Minnesota, you had Orlando. Uh, I think you had Vancouver at the time. Yes, Jordan had two three peats, um, but again, in basketball, in a seven game series, the better team you know wins most more times than not. Because of the expansion, I think teams had a lot less talent. If you look at Jordan's opponents in the finals, did he ever play a team with like a true big three, big three that was really, really talented? You had the Jazz, who were a great defensive team, great team. But you had Stockton Malone. Malone was putting up 27. Stockton was putting like 15. Everyone else might have been under double figures. And I know scoring was down in the 90s, but – the Supersonics. Yeah, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp. Sean um, Klump. Sean Klump. <laughs> you had the Phoenix Suns. Um, you had the Trailblazers. You had what was left of the Lakers after Kareem left. Jordan never played 
teams that were stacked because the, the league was watered down. Tom Brady won seven Super Bowls in a league where, like I said, winning a championship is harder in football than it is anywhere else because in football you have a lot more variables. You have a lot more variables. You have a lot more moving parts. Um, you have the one and done. You have to win. It's win or go home every time you're in a playoff game or in a playoff series. Tom Brady went 10 years without winning a Super Bowl and then again started winning in his late 30s and 40s. Um, so I think I think Brady seven is, is more impressive than Jordan six. So is it watered down? Is it was the league watered down in a true sense or was Jordan just that great? I think the I, Jordan was head over heels better than everyone else. But I don't think you had teams with the amount of talent that you have now because it was spread out more. So, like, when Jordan first started playing, the league had maybe, like, what, 24 teams? You still had, you know, big threes in Boston and big threes in um, L.A. By the time we got to the 90s, you had a lot of one-star teams. One, one and a half, two. Even those Patriots teams, you know, Rick Smiths, all of them, they were – great but they were good but they weren't great you had reggie miller so jordan had the best coach he had the best gm he had the best wingman in the second three beat he had the best defender i mean they were a super team in that era and most other teams they just didn't have the talent to match what they had well i'm gonna I'm say jordan uh i think that's the the most impressive feat um just simply for the three beat i mean mm -hmm. i think that's hard to do like it's crazy to say it's easier to do something mm -hmm. especially something as hard as winning a Super Bowl right but I think it is easier to get to a Super Bowl than it is to do just a three-peat mm -hmm. multiple times mm -hmm. right and then as far as Brady um what division does he play in uh who plays in that division uh we could talk about the cakewalk that it was to to win his division every year. Uh, that that gives you an automatic uh, playoff uh, game at your home, right? Buffalo Bills. Uh, who else is in that division? Like the Dolphins. The, and, yeah. Yeah. Can you name me the quarterbacks that played in that division? No. Like I think your your pathway to the playoffs. When you go into the season, you know, okay, I'm getting at least one playoff game at home. I'm going to win my division. And all I got to worry about is just making sure I can get to the Super Bowl. Hmm. Can I interject? Yes, sir. Uh, the following are Brady's records against every NFL team. I saw that career. earlier today. <laughs> that was crazy. 6 and 0, 6 and 1, 5 and 2, 4 and 2, 9 and 0, 4 and 2, 6 and 3, 4 and 5, Saints. 6 and 0, 6 and 1, 5 and 1, 4 and 2, 2 and 1, 3 and 3, 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 5 and 5, 8 and 6, 7 and 2, 5 and 1, 24, 12, 30 and 7, 33 and 3, 5 and 2, 7 and 2, 12 and 3, 5 and 1, 6 and 2, 9 and 3, 7 and 1, 7 and 1. I think it's fair to say he did well against every team. <laughs> every team. But I think I get what you're saying yeah, in terms of the setup. The setup like you're going to you're going to make the playoffs on playing on the Patriots, right? Mm -hmm. You have one of the best coaches um in Bill Belichick mm -hmm. and 9 times out of 10 he put forth a a quality if not a top 10 defense, right? And then just the preparation that it takes for a coaching staff to get their their players ready. They I think they come into a game prepared better than any other team in this league. So you're saying Brady had a great coach and he took advantage of teams that weren't that talented? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, we're splitting hairs right, here. Right, 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 right. I mean, you know, both, both, you know, 6-0 and oh in, the, in the NBA Finals and, and uh, seven Super Bowls was – both great feats in 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 each right so right. Back. We're splitting hairs so we've been talking about jordan and brady this whole time but we've also talked about their coaches a little bit so we've had phil jackson and we have bill belichick what do you think the coach impact has had on these two successes and who do you think was the better coach I think it's Bill Belichick. Um, I think it's Phil Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> we really getting into it today. Right, this right, this is a good one. But I, I, I'm going to say Bill Belichick, like I said, that entire organization, right, is mirrored in Bill Belichick's vision, mm -hmm. right? It's culture. It's culture, right? Um, just doing your job 
and staying out of the way of you know media, not getting in trouble, all that type of the stuff. Patriot like way. the Patriot yeah. way, yeah. like that 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 quote speaks volumes, right? You come in, you follow a script, right? Mm-hmm. We have a script that we go by, and if you can't get on script, we don't need you. And I can find somebody else, and I can mm-hmm. coach them up, and I can always replace you. I I don't need these big name. Uh, people, I don't need these big egos. I don't need X, Y, and Z. I, you are replaceable, right? And I think you know. I think it's Bill Bel- Bill Belichick. Uh, it's Bill Jackson. <laughs> um, the reason it's not Bill Belichick, uh, because right now we don't have a sample of success, true success, from Bill Belichick without Tom Brady. Right now we have that in uh, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson's system. If we look at from the 80s up until now we've had very few instances where guards and i'm not counting magic johnson because he's six nine but where guards have led teams to championships phil jackson has engineered two of those situations with kobe you know the second um when he won 09 and 2010 and of course in jordan no other team has really been able to be successful with that outside of the warriors and the pistons so like even though right now the league is so guard heavy, like wings and bigs still win. Phil Jackson has championships without Michael Jordan. Jordan doesn't have any championships without Phil Jackson. Case closed. It's Phil Jackson. <laughs> have we have we really given Bill Belichick an opportunity to win without Brady? I mean, we're just one year basically removed from Brady leaving the Patriots. I, I hear what you're saying, but all I can do is <laughs> work with the information I have. Now, does Bill Belichick, he had a career prior to Tom Brady, right? Mm-hmm. What did he do without Tom Brady Bef- before then? I think he won. He's he won the Super Bowl. He with, won some Super Bowl. Uh, he was as yeah, a well, defensive, as a cor- defensive, yeah. as, as defensive as a coordinator. coordinator. Yeah. All I, I get, can do yeah, is work with it. the information I yeah. have. You know, work, Phil, yeah. Jackson is, Phil Jackson has proven that um, his system is adaptable and he can win anywhere he goes. Um, Bill Belichick still has some work to do to win without Tom Brady. Again, and, t- and Tom Brady went to a loaded Bucks team. Let's like let's not forget he I, had Pro Bowlers on that team. Like sounds good, but they won. <laughs> <laughs> they won. I mean, he has more Super Bowls than any other team. I get it. Somebody, somebody was the uh, the quarterback of the Bucks before Tom Brady. Um, the Dallas Cowboys has had teams with loaded with pro bowlers and they haven't been able to do what Tom Brady's done. Uh, I think that further strengthens Tom Brady's um, case for GOAT because, again, how he fares against, you know, others. No one else is able to do what he's done. Jordan had the three-peats. So did Shaq and Kobe. So did Bill Russell. No one's done what Tom Brady's done. Well, there you have it, all right? That's cute. They're shaking hands for the people listening on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what you guys think, man. Tell us in the comments who is the GOAT of GOATs? Michael Jordan or Thomas Edward Patrick Brady? I can't stand Tom Brady personally, but <laughs> <laughs> do not forget to like and subscribe and check us out on the next episode. We out. Peace. Yep. Thank you for joining us on the For The Win Vodcast. Make sure you follow us on IG at For The Win Vodcast, on YouTube at For The Win, on Apple Music, on Spotify. We are everywhere. For The Win and we out. Peace. Yes, sir.